In this video, I will show you how to install Eve NG Community Edition on VMware Workstation Pro. So if you go to the website of Eve NG, you will find that they release a latest and updated version 5.01-22 last week 5th of March. There is no more OVA file available. The only format is ISO which you can download in two different variation. Even they mention here that live ISO EVNG which require internet and DNS. And there is the second one offline EVNG community installation and it is more than double of this size okay 1.4 and this is 2.7 so i would suggest to download this one 2.7 from google either mega is up to you however this one also require internet to upgrade them so in both cases internet is required to install so i already download when you click on mega link it will take you to the mega link and you can download Eve NG Community Edition and this is the latest and updated version with ISO format 2.72 GB. So I already download this one. Okay, from here, uh, as I say, you need to download the offline Eve NG Community Edition. Next, we need to open so I already mentioned these steps. You can go through these steps and you can install yourself. Anyway, let's go to Eve NG and uh, sorry, the VMware workstation. Click on file, click on new virtual machine and you need to choose the custom advanced option and click next. After that, just leave the default one and click next. Here you need to choose. I will install the operating system later and click next after that choose linux and from here you need to choose ubuntu 64 bit version okay and click next here you need to give them a name so eve ng and let me give them a name uh, suppose test and the location where you want to save this one so let me go to my pc and i would save here just for the test purpose and here I will give them if ng test. Okay. And click OK. So this is the location where I want to store the file. And this is the name if ng test and click next. After that, how many processor you want to allocate. So I have more than 16. So let me give them four. It's up to you. And now uh, as per your resources and click next. Even you can give them two as well. The minimum one is one. Okay. So let me click next. After that, uh, how much RAM you want to allocate? So suppose I want 16 GB. It's up to you. How much RAM you have in your system. Click next. After that, you need to choose use network address translation, the net one. Okay. Because this require internet. Click next. After that, keep the default one, LSI logic recommended one and click next. After, uh, after that, select a desk type, keep the default one and click next. Here you need to choose create a new virtual desk and click next. The uh, maximum desk size, by the way, I mentioned here the recommended one is 200 GB. Okay, so it's up to you. How much you want to allocate? Okay, so let's go to here. I mentioned the minimum is 200 GB so that you can do all the lab easily. Okay, if you have more, you can allocate more. However, keep in mind, click this one, store virtual desk as a single file and click next. After that, leave the default one and click next. Now here, don't finish. You need to customize. Okay, so customize hardware, click on this one. So memory is okay, 16 GB processor if you want to change, so you can change from here. Make sure to enable virtualization. This is another topic I will discuss because many students can uh, get the error if the, they enable the virtualization. However, click this one, virtualize Intel VT, okay? 
and after that go to CD and DVD and click the last one use ISO which we already download from the website which I mentioned this one. So I already download this one let me go to download and I already have Eve NG the same one okay which I download from here full okay and click this one. After that network adapter right now we have only one I can add more from here either later on I can add. So leave it we will add more adapter okay so a printer we don't need so you can remove sound card if you want to remove you can remove that one and that's it that's the only thing you need to do okay memory processor DVD ISO file and network adapter and click close after that you can click finish now okay so now it will come and after that you need to start power on this virtual machine okay so after that install EVNG community the first one and hit enter okay and let me close this one now the installation will start it will take some time so I choose 200 after that I keep the same name and then I customize so I change the uh, processor also keep in mind I need to enable the virtualize virtualization option and then in ISO I upload this one okay which I download <clears throat> and then click finish then power on and then choose the first option install EVNG community so the first thing it will ask you the uh, language so I will choose English is up to you whatever you want and after that the keyboard so I will choose the default one US keyboard and hit enter after that if you are using because we are using net so there is a DHCP enable so I will choose the default one and hit enter okay then it will ask you the uh, proxy setting we don't have proxy if you are using proxy and in your environment so you need to type the proxy address okay in our case we don't have proxy and the port number so I don't have so I will uh, keep the default one and hit enter after that to continue you need to choose with the down arrow to continue okay it will show you up uh, uh, like this so you need to choose continue okay and after that reboot now however here it will uh, you know as mentioned cancel update it will get updates so again it's require internet access so in both cases either you download this one or this one so both require internet access to get the update okay and after that uh, you just need to remove the CD okay before starting so just remove the CD which I will show you uh, it will show you like this they say please remove the installation media so you just need to choose the DVD here and click remove and that's it and then hit enter here okay and it will start the default username and password is root and eve ng so it will take some time and after that uh, after the reboot you need to log in with the CLI and let's mention the username and password here as well it say root and eve ng and then the rest of the thing is the same like the old Eve NG. You need to type the password. So in this case, I will type Eve again. Okay. And then the def keep this default name because the switches are registered under this name. So it's better to keep the default name and hit enter and hit enter for this one and hit enter directly connected through DHCP. If you are using static IP, just change them and put the static IP. Okay. And then NTP hit enter and direct connectivity if you are using proxy again you need to type okay and that's it and you can log in here the uh, graphical username and password is admin and eve okay cli is root and eve and that's it so this is the installation so let's see now english so i would hit enter and this is also done the default and i'm using um, dhcp so it's get ip 114.172 hit enter i don't have a proxy hit enter and here by arrow key go down and choose continue okay and hit enter and now the installation will start okay they will install and it will take some time and when it's done it will show you another option to reboot okay so let's see we need to wait it will take some time and after that we need to follow all these steps okay that's it and this is the way to install the latest and updated 
evng however it's totally different from the old one it's taking more time to install okay so uh, we need to wait for a while and it will take time so let's wait so here you can see it show you an option that cancel update and reboot so uh, it's going to uh, download the updates okay uh, anyway we will keep them to uh, install the update even though I say install a uh, complete however it's getting the updates so again it's require internet so you can see and after that when it's done so we can choose to reboot uh, by if you want to see the logs so you can click hit enter and you can see the logs here is the logs okay and it's showing you all the thing and if you want to close click uh, down arrow and close so again it will show you here so view full logs if you want to see uh, everything so right now it will get the update so again it requires some time we need to wait okay so it's uh, reboot automatically and now you can see this error they say please remove the installation media then press enter so right click here go to setting okay and there is a dvd this is the one which we uh, okay put so just remove this one and click ok and after that come back and hit enter and now it will restart okay so i mentioned these points here and the slides so if you go up here yeah, this one so you need to choose the dvd and click remove and after that you just need to hit enter and now it will start the installation process again so it's totally different than the old one and it's require more time okay and now you can see so we are here in this phase and after that it will ask you to uh, log in through cli so as i said the default username and password which is mentioned on the top as well root and eve okay and you need to hit enter and then you need to configure so let's wait for a while again it will take some time okay so it's rebooted again so we are in this phase okay after this uh, it will reboot and now this one so let's go back yeah so here you can see the default username is root and eve and hit enter now type eve and hit enter eve and enter uh, enter 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 and that's it okay so the final steps are done okay what we done we type the same password okay and again we type the same host name eve ng and the same uh, domain name and uh, we are directly connected through dhcp so i say this one you can change them to static as well ntp i hit okay and directly connected so i uh, hit enter and finally we can log in with the ip address so on the top is mentioned ip 192.168.114.172 so go to any browser and you can type 192.168.114.172 and admin password is eve okay and that's it and we are finally logged into our eve ng the latest and updated version so this is the way to install the latest and updated version eve ng iso file on vmware workstation